What's up guys, we're hanging out on the front straight at Button Willow Raceway for the Nissan GTR track day. Very distracting, I know. What I'm here to do right now is answer your viewer questions. I'd say I get 30 to 40 questions a week through email from you guys. Try to answer as many as possible. But what I'm going to do now is answer them on camera and save my fingers the effort. I got two good questions this week. Stick around, I'll tell you all about them. Our first question comes from Jonathan Davis from Chicago, Illinois, and he writes me, actually, this is a question I've gotten a lot. Matt, I'm 16 years old, I'm about to get my first car, and I want something fast, fun, reliable, economical, and of course, stylish. And I've got $10,000 to spend. What do you suggest? Well, I've got my answers. Sometimes you're going to want to go to the experts, too. So I contacted Jack Nerad from kellybluebook.com. Here was his suggestions. He wanted to say an 03 Protégé ES, which has a deceptively high slalom speed, an 03 Civic Coupe, which has a bulletproof drivetrain, lots of upgrades available from all the catalogs and internet places, and an 03 Mustang Coupe V6. That's from Kelly Blue Book. And honestly, I don't really like his choices. I also contacted Brian Gluckman from autotrader.com. Here's what he had to say. He said you can get an 02 A4 3.0 six speed. That's a good call. You're gonna get German feel and precision and your all wheel drive Audi world famous. You got an 04 Honda Coupe V6. It's a deceptively fast car, also with a bulletproof drivetrain. An 04 Mazda 3 that handles great and has seating space for four. An 03 Subaru WRX, which has endless tuning capabilities and is fast right out of the box. Great in the snow, too, since you live in Chicago. And an 01 Celica GTS 6 speed, which is the same bottom end as a Lotus Exige, and you can drop a blower on there, make an extra 100 horsepower, no problem. Those are their answers. I have my own answers, okay? I found in the eBay completed listing section what people are actually paying for these cars and found all the sale prices to be under $10,000. You got an 04 Mustang GT five speed. It's a V8 with a stick. And you know how that works. Great in the drag strip and with some suspension, not bad on the racetrack too. You got a 98 to 01 C5 Corvette. If you're in high school and you're rocking a Corvette, big pimping all over the world. T-top. Drifting the GTR from far away. Very nice. An 0203 Mini Cooper S. Great for autocross and all kinds of fun in the twisties. 04 Pontiac GTO. LS series engines are always good. Not my favorite body style, but also a bulletproof drivetrain. An 07 Scion TC. These things depreciate faster than GM stock, and you can pick one up for less than 10 grand now. Under 20,000 miles on it. It's a hell of a car. Not my favorite car, but all the Guidos in my town drive white ones, so that's something. Or an 0102 Mazda Miata. The most venerable of all racetrack cars. Front engine, rear drive, lightweight, top down. Can't really go wrong with a Miata, and of course, your timeless styling. So, what can we say about that? Well, kellybluebook.com, they're a little more conservative. Also, they think cars tend to be worth a little more than they are, which is proven by Mr. Nerad's answers. Brian Glugman from Autotrader gave us some good suggestions too, and he said that all his selections are available at autotrader.com, or of course, you can go with my selections, which are, huh, let's just face it, the best. That's it. Jonathan, I hope I answered your question correctly, and we'll move on to question number two when we come back. We generated so much air force and down force that it burnt the paint on the edge of the spoiler. Wow, it made really? like a pinstripe. It was really wild. That's you crazy. Garage419.com. That Be there. And we're back. Question number two that I got today is from Adit Azrani on Facebook, who wanted to know about this yellow GTR from my photo album I posted. We've got James Chen, owner of Axis Wheels. Now, the question was, is that the owner of Axis Wheels' car, and I heard he has 15 other yellow cars. Oh, that's an exaggeration. I don't have 15 yellow cars. I um, do have 10 yellow cars. 10 yellow cars. Right. Okay, so it's a 30% it's a exaggeration. There you go. And are there five other cars too? So five 15... other cars that are not yellow, yeah. All right, for the record, what are the yellow cars? Um, boy. Got GTR. GTR. Okay. Uh, a Bentley uh, GTC convertible. Awesome. A uh, Lamborghini Murcielago. Okay. A Porsche 911 GT3. Okay. A Nissan Armada lifted with an external cage. Awesome. A Ford F350 Super Duty lifted pulling my trailer. Awesome. A uh, Mitsubishi. Evo 8. 7. Uh, Nissan 350Z 
street car okay. with twin turbo. Okay. And my Nissan 350Z race car that's also twin okay. turbo. That's nine. And a Land Rover Defender 90, like a four-wheel drive Jeep. That's ten. That's now 10. I heard there's one more. You actually missed one. Plus. You told me about earlier. Is there not a Cadillac in there? Oh, I'm sorry. And the 1960 Cali Coupe de Ville with 650 horsepower, twin turbo. Eleven yellow cars. So I hope that answers your question. And while we've got you, tell me what's on this bad boy right here. Well, this is a new R35 GTR. Obviously. Uh, the car came originally in black, and it wasn't my shade of color. So I painted it <laughs> Lamborghini Pearl Yellow, also okay. known as Giallo Ryan. Uh -huh. We put the uh, Password JDM uh, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber NACA ducts, okay. uh, Millen front end on the lip. With these um, guys here? APR canards, Okay. Uh -huh. carbon fiber rear trunk, and APR rear wing. Okay, what about under the hood, anything? Under the hood wise is a Cobb access port tuning. Okay. And a Cobb uh, mid pipe delete. All so right. So no cat converters. No cats. And ob obviously, access wheels. Access wheels all around, of course. James, thanks for being on the show. Pleasure. Hope that answered your question. That's why I, I bring you the answers right from the source. I'm Matt Farrow, you've been watching Garage 419. This week on WePC TV. What if you erased like FDR's identity? So it's Whoa. like there was a president here, and it has the Europe photo with the question mark, just We're, the yeah. cartoon. Like, if, if I could erase anybody, anybody's identity, anyone, it would either be Katy Perry or the Fred guy from YouTube. WePC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it. Intel inside.